At least we freed those spirits from their suffering. Shall we depart? Let's get back to the lighthouse. Gladly. Oh, the Song of the Chambers won't have anything on what your hunters... Perhaps the Waking Scrolls? No. Manfred, have you seen the Felmarch manuscripts? You and Manfred need an extra pair of eyes for whatever this is. I suppose it's time I explained this mess. Johanna Hesenkos was a watcher. She was banished for embracing the darker paths of our art. Forbidden magic, blood sacrifice, nothing is beyond her if it leads to power, recognition, or both. It sounded like you knew her before all that. We were friends, once. I guess it was a shock to see her back there then. An unexpected reunion. It wasn't always like this. She truly was brilliant, and we got on so well as students. We partnered on papers, rituals, research. Yet even then, Johanna considered the Watcher's oaths quaint. This isn't the first time we've crossed paths since she was exiled, but now I fear she's turned herself partly undead. Even after what she's done, I feel a little bad for her. Well, undeath isn't always a disadvantage. <clears throat> but yes, you saw Johanna's Lantern of Unwilling Souls. A necromancer could create monstrous undead with that much stolen life. Hesengaz was yelling a lot about conquering Navarra City. We must stop her, Rook. <laughs> Thank you, Manfred. Quite right. The Order's knowledge will see us through. Hezenkos had been stopped. For now. But she had big plans for Navarra. City conquering, new ruler plans. <laughs> and while she had some regrets about long-lost friendships, she knew her greatest invention was going to bring down the house. <laughs>